Moab, an epic network of trails, scenery, and storytelling. This is Metal Masher in Moab, Utah. Everyone, Joshua Nasser, and we are in Moab, Utah for the famous Easter Jeep Safari. I'm expecting some amazing wheeling, beautiful scenery, and good times. Well, we're here. Let's go check it out. Good morning. So today, we're doing Metal Masher. We're riding the, with the Genride crew. Plus, we have people from all over the country joining us. This is going to be an exciting day. As you may know, Metal Masher is a harder trail. We're going to be using the Trails Off-Road app to navigate our way, which has been recently updated with even more waypoints and information about the trail. So you can find everything you need to know at trailsoffroad.com. Well, we're moving. I'm looking at one of my most interesting favorite roads here in Moab, which is Gemini Bridges Road going out because drive along a cliff and I always wonder who could or who was the crazy guy who went and figured out how to drive across a cliff like this. After the enjoyable drive, the group made it to the trailhead with some final preparations. Everyone was finally ready to go. So we're loading up. It's time to get moving. One of the first things that people notice about Metal Masher is it's not like the other trails in the area. This trail is more of a sparse desert with small shrubs. There isn't towering cliff walls almost anywhere until you start getting over the other side and then you start seeing, well, what the trail is going to be. Lots of ledges. So as you go up the trail, you're going to come to a set of ledges. The first one set is a, well, intimidating. Let's just leave it at that. There's a right, medium, rock crawling, medium route, and then they get the lefts, and lefts get easier. I've seen a lot of people roll over backwards at this one. I see a lot of people break at this one. Let's watch the group try it, see what happens next. <laughs> oh, come on, Tony. Tell us what you really think of this obstacle. Um, that's, that's dug out, man. I just I've seen this for a long time and that's the worst I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah. Problem on stuff like this is people pull up on it and think they're going to crawl it and all they do is dig it. <laughs> that is not. You're never ever going to get an obstacle like that. Don't even try. You're just wasting time and making it worse. Perkins, after feeling uncomfortable with the obstacle, decided to do the rock crawling line. Take note to this rear locker. Turn your rear locker on. After a few issues, Jeff decided to back down. He's going to try a different line. While at the same time, Zach is over getting the right line held. With the ledges being victorious today, Decided to move up the trail. Let's see what's next. The next set of ledges is well, it's, it's sort of the uh, really hard because there's undercut, or the mildly hard because it's a undercut. Uh, this is a fun place. You're gonna need bigger tires for the far left line, just so you don't get too far underneath undercut. The one on the right now in our hand is capable for maybe a 35 inch tire. Um, there's even a farther right that can do on any size tire uh, without taking the full bypass. So that's always a fun little route. I think Jeff Perkins is lining up. Let's watch him do it. Right there. Jamie and Jeff making the line that usually beats most people. Hopes are high for Rock Chopper. Here 
We made it to Rock Trucker, which is... You can get away with it. It's easy to watch. Um, this is one of the two hard obstacles of the trail. One of the two hardest obstacles, I should say. Um, this one is uh, a more of a rock crawling obstacle. And it is about a 15 foot elevation gain with a bunch of just massive holes. We're actually coming past it right now. So, uh, that's how steep the hills. I was watching people do it. Right Try it again. Rock Trucker proved to be more than a two-door can handle today, but the LJ with the tracer suspension just walked right up it. I mean, it looked easy. Well, we're gonna head over to the Overlook next, taking some breathtaking views, and then uh, continue down the trail. Just after Rock Trucker's near Gulch and then Misty Thumb. Both these spots are probably the harder spots of the trail that's required.
Zach was having an issue with his front shocks, and the fact that it weren't damping so it was allowing the front end to bounce out of control, making it hard to climb these walls. Scariest moment of the trip, three, two, one. Not far past Misty's Thumb is the Overlook. And this is a really cool place, worthwhile stopping at and just taking in the views. Uh, just watch out, don't go past what you can't see because there's nothing there. It's a thousand feet straight down to the bottom and uh, there's nothing that's gonna slow you down during that thousand feet. It's just gonna be a free fall to the very bottom. Well, we're moving. So uh, let's keep going. When you're driving the vehicle, you don't see what's out the passenger window. Uncomfortable, isn't it? After the viewpoint, you start working your way back down the hillside, so now you're going to be dropping down the ledges. You got a great view of the prairie below, where you can see cattle farmers work in the area. Since we're taking a break, I wanted to ask him what she thought of the trail, since this is her first time driving. Interesting. It's some little ledges, obstacles, things to make it interesting without being too hard. Day getting long and the group being tired, with the end of the trail just ahead, the group is grateful to experience what many people say is one of the better trails on the web. It's easy to see why Jeep named this one of their Badge of Honor trails, as it's full of epic challenges, beautiful scenery, and great stories.